Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about another Sailor Pro Gear Slim because I love them so much. And this is the version that is called Sunset Over the Ocean. Um, Sailor made multiple sizes of this colorway and it's basically red and blue and the blue has like sparkles. It's very hard to see right now, but of course I will give you a close-up shot in a little bit. So I got this um, a little while ago, I had it sent to the States, so I finally have access to it. Um, and someone else ordered it for me because I bought it at Endless Pens. So Endless Pens is a website where you can buy pens, obviously, but they do like um, tiered uh, layers of sales. So if you've ordered at Endless Pens before, you get access to uh, more sales, basically. I had never ordered at Endless Pens before, but I do get the emails um, and I saw this for your slim was on sale a lot i paid 133 dollars for it uh and it's i think it's retailing for around 230 so uh someone else offered to buy it for me who has like had the tears um uh, or has ordered plenty of times at endless pen so that's how i got this one for like a really good bargain but yeah so Basically, that's my justification. It was cheap. <laughs> it was $130. Um, it came um, in a bunch of different nib sizes. So this is not one of the Progear Slims that only comes in the medium fine nib, because there are a lot of Progear Slims that only come in the medium fine nib, which is a okay nib, but I wanted something more. I got the broad. It doesn't really feel broad, but I'll show you that when we switch the shot. All right, let us go. All right, here I am with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Sunset Over the Ocean colorway. And as you can see, it is a lovely blue with a red translucent barrel end and cap end. And here you have the lovely Sailor logo. It has a functional clip. I love bringing these to work or I used to. Currently not working, but yeah. It's a good on-the-go pen because it's so small. That's one of the reasons I really like it. And then for me, it's really easy to uh, use it on post-it, even though it's a really small pen. Here we have the cap band. It says Sailor Japan Fountain. Founded, not fountained. Um, founded 1911. So that's when the Sailor Pen Company was founded. And if we bring this pen in up close, you can sort of see the sparkles in the blue resin. And it is not a very um, in your face type of sparkle. It is quite muted, but I kind of like it um, this way because it doesn't make it too in your face. But it is there, and you can definitely see it. And then, of course, it is much better in sunlight. And we have plenty of sunlight here in Georgia, but not in this room. <laughs> so we're dealing with some fake lighting right now. But you can see it fairly well. And it's just all around a lovely, lovely looking pen. It is still a Progress Slim, so it's not the smallest pen that Sailor makes. They also make the Mini, uh, but it is one of their smaller models. I can actually compare it to a regular um, Sailor Pro Gear because of the Angel's Delight right here. And as you can see, the di it's not a giant difference, right? But it's big enough to be noticeable. And then if you uncap them, which I shall do, you can also see that there's quite a difference, but still both very usable. Grip on the Pro Gear uh, Slim is um, thinner, smaller. It's just one size smaller than the regular version, but I like the size. And as you can see, I can definitely write with this unposted. Um, I actually don't post it. Uh, when James uses it, my fiance, he does post it because he needs the extra length, but I don't. Nib is just one color. It is a rhodium or silver, and all the trim on this pen is silver. 
comes with a converter. There you go. I always have kind of trouble with Taylor converters because I tend to unscrew this bit when I ink it up. I don't know why, it's just not very competent with these. And then you screw it back on. The cap is also a screw cap. Doesn't take too many turns. It's like, I think it's a 1.5, which is fine. It's, it's um, not the quickest draw pen that I've ever seen, but it is fairly quick draw. And also is really, really portable. Anyway, you all want a writing sample, I bet. And I have this ink with a Sailor ink and it's Sailor 243. Now I got this uh, with a broad nib, but um, Sailor nibs tend to run a little less wide than Western nibs, and um, that holds true for this one as well. So, Sailor Pro Gear Slim in a Sunset Over the Ocean. I am writing off frame because I'm smart. Sunset Over the Ocean, as you can see. And then the ink is Sailor 243, which is like a grayish blue, um, and I like it. I don't think it's the wettest ink. I think I will try to ink this with a wetter ink next time to see if it um, flows a little broader. broader. Um, but yeah, this is a bra nib. It, there, is, there is feedback. Um, and it's it doesn't really perform. It's more medium in my eyes. So I've been used to the uh, the zoom nib on my other uh, Pro Gear Slim, um, the Nebula, and that is just the super super broad nib. Um, yeah, this is not my favorite sealer nib that I've ever had, but it writes. Uh, I think it's partly the ink and. Um, it by no means um, um, behaves badly or anything. Um, like, this ink may just be a really bad match. Um, and I might just have to change it. It's also a very light ink. Um, I don't tend to like those inks. But yeah, this is a, a more feedbacky Sailor Nib. Um, for abroad, it's kind of fine in my opinion. Um, I like the feedback. I wish it was broader or wetter, um, but I'm gonna try it with a different ink and then um, probably will give you an update on this on a currently inked video. Um, but yeah, the pen in general is a very good pen. It is lovely. It is a gold nib. Um, it has this lovely finish with the sparkles in it. Uh, Sailor pens just I don't know, they always catch my eye, and I think it's partly because they like um, making the cap and the barrel ends a different color. It just is very pleasing to me. Same one with this, this one has clear cap ends. I just really like it, and the shape is just a good shape. I'm a big fan of flat tops, not so much of cigar shapes, so flat top, this ends in a flat end, not in a rounded end. And yeah, sailors are just always on my list. I think there's like three sailors I want right now. So yeah, good pen. Um, this nib needs a better ink match, but that's about it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of my sailor pens, please let me, let me know. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, yeah. Hope to see you soon with a different video. Bye-bye.